Welcome back to the second and last part B of the cardboard checkerboard vans tutorial. I'm Mike Levitt and I'll take you through to the end where we will finish our shoe assembly and trim in detail the sweet little shoe. After cutting all your pieces out, the next step is to assemble the sole. Glue together all eight plies of the sole layers that you cut out. Liberally apply glue between all eight layers. Wait for the glue to get tacky, then press the layers together into one eight-ply cake. With your sole assembled, now we're going to build the shoe body. Dry fit the shoe body front and place on the front of the insole. Make sure it's centered, and make pencil marks where you want it to stay. Liberally apply glue to the bottom of the insole following the glue reference marks from my template. Apply glue to the inside of the glue tabs of the shoe body front. Wait for the glue to get tacky. Then press the shoe body glue tabs in place on the bottom of the insole with the insole flat on the table and your hand inside the shoe to press and flatten all of the glue tabs. Let's also dry fit the rear shoe body before applying glue. Hold it in place on the back of the insole. Make sure it's centered on the back. Make pencil marks where you want it to fit. These will help when you're pressing the glued pieces into place. Liberally apply glue to the bottom of the insole, following the glue reference marks from my template. Apply glue to the inside of all the glue tabs on the shoe body rear. Wait for the glue to get tacky. Now press the rear shoe body glue tabs in place on the bottom of the insole. Lay the insole flat on the table and press from the inside to flatten and press the glue tabs. Your sole and shoe body are assembled, so let's glue these two assemblies together. This will essentially build the entire shoe, with only trim and detail work left to do. First, dry fit the shoe body onto the sole to see how it fits. Make pencil marks at the toe and heel if needed to make sure the shoe body is aligned and centered on the sole. Now liberally apply glue to the bottom of the insole and top of the sole. Wait for the glue to get tacky, then press the shoe body onto the insole. Press the shoe body in place with your hand inside the shoe and the sole flat on the table. Hopefully you feel good about how your shoe looks at this point, with most of it assembled, because all that's left is a bit of trimming and detail work. Now let's do the checkered heel trim. Dry fit it in place, make any pencil marks you might need for reference, liberally apply glue inside this trim piece into the shoe body heel and wait for the glue to get tacky. Then press the heel trim in place. With your sole trim conditioned and dry fit into place, Liberally apply glue to the inside of it. Also, liberally apply glue to the rough, cut edges of the sole. These edges will act like a sponge, thirsty for glue. You may need to apply one coat of glue, wait for it to get tacky, then apply a second glue coat to the edge of the sole. Wait for all of your glue to get tacky, then start at one end of the sole trim at the back center of the sole. Press it in place, then work your way toward the front, all the way around back to the heel again, firmly pressing the trim in place as you go. Use the outer edge of your thumb to rub and press the trim on, or use a wood tool. Or you can also rub the edge of the sole on the edge of your table to press it in place. Next, let's glue the upper shoe body trim. Before applying glue, dry fit this trim piece in place to make sure it's aligned and make any pencil marks you might need for reference. Then liberally apply glue to the inside of this trim piece and to the edge of the shoe body where it will go. Wait for the glue to get tacky, then press it in place with your fingers up inside the shoe body to help get it in place. The only step left that I'd recommend is coloring your shoe. You don't have to do this step. You can leave it black and white, or black and brown as it were with the cardboard. But at this point, if you're going in the color direction, I'd actually encourage you not to follow my instructions. I'd only offer some hints, ideas, and suggestions here to spark your imagination in the hope that you might go off on your own. 
In many ways, this van shoe can be a really nice blank canvas to express yourself however you want. And I think some of the best opportunities to express yourself are ones like this, that don't intimidate or overwhelm you like a big blank canvas can. It's one of those opportunities for expression that comes up subtly when, in a way, you might even feel more free to roam than you would in the big blank space of a large white page or a canvas. If you have enjoyed this, then I definitely encourage you to try one of my other cardboard shoe projects. The Classic Gazelle would be the next natural progression, and maybe the Chuck Taylor after that. It's all on my website, and thank you for joining me here. I love sharing my artistic process. I really love working with recycled materials, and I really, really love encouraging people to express themselves and to work with their hands. So stay tuned for more.